Hi everyone, this is Alexander Antsipov. In my last video, we created an application with header and footer. We created a template and then create new screen from this template. It was expected that every screen has the same header with buttons Home, Job, Service Ticket and so on. And after pressing this button, user should be navigated on the particular screen. Our template screen uh, has toolbar and the list of these buttons. But I can say that it is a good approach because in case, for example, when we will need to add some button or to change some logic after clicking on this button, we will have to update every screen which is created from our template. Now I'm going to show how can we solve this issue. Let's create new screen with name main screen. And then let's specify tabs property of the screen as true. Press OK. We will use this screen as a container for another screens. So let's change the label of the first button of our header to the home. Then clone this button and change label to jobs. To do the same for service tick. Let's change orientation and again clone and add report and add user account. Then let's open our template screen, select page and remove our header. So just specify false. Okay. So next let's clone our template screen and rename it to home. Then go to the routing, add home screen with route name home. Then to do the same for jobs. So duplicate rename and add routing. Then next change default routing to main screen. So main screen will be open when application is started. Open our main screen and after pressing on the button particular screen should be open. So specify a property tab for home screen for example as a home and jobs as a jobs. And if we would have more screens we would have to do the same for another screens. Now we can even test our application, press test and remove frame. And if we would press for example jobs, we can see that jobs is highlighted and to do the same for home. Now I would like to show how to add integration with API database. So open database, create new DB with name main DB and then let's create jobs collections which will store information about our jobs. Of course our collection has to have some custom data, not only unique identificator. So let's add column with name for example PO number, then customer, job number, project name, status, project type, UVI column, and license. Then let's add some test data. Press plus row and provide some very, very strange data. And let's add one more row. Our next goal is to show the list of jobs on the jobs screen. Let's change orientation and let's add integration with database. Select main DB, then select jobs collection and specify list service. This service returns the list of our jobs and we can test it right here. So just press test button and see the sample response. Let's open job screen and add data table component, which we will use for showing jobs. And first we have to specify what will be used as data source. For that let's go to data tab and add our job list service. Also let's change the name to jobs. We will invoke this service on event after page showing and then uh, store the response of the service into jobs variable. So let's create 
jobs variable and specify type as any because our service return array of objects then open data tab again and perform mapping so we will map response array on jobs variable let's do it then let's specify that this service should be invoked on event after page showing select invoke service and specify data source and jobs next let's continue configure data table open data mode and select rows jobs and last step of our long configuration is providing property and name for every column of our data table pay attention that there is two properties first is property and here we have to provide the name of the property from our JSON object and second one is name which will show the name of a column in our table on the UI so let's specify as PO number from capital P O N N and let's do the same for another fields for customer then let's clone and to do the same for job number then project name status project type UI and license now let's test our application press test this is our home screen and now let's press jobs below we see the list of our jobs pay attention that below we can see the number of the rows there is sorting for every column and in case if you would have a lot of rows I would have several pages and will have the particular UI for navigation between pages. That is all what I wanted to show in this video. Thanks for watching.